Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Eric Blyton. Thanks for the stellar suggestion, Eric. You asked, why is space cold if the sun is hot? Now, that sounds like a trick question, right? The sun is literally a giant ball of fire. So shouldn't space feel like an oven out there? Well, not quite. If you've ever pictured astronauts sweating under their helmets, think again. Space is basically the universe's biggest freezer. So, if you've ever wondered how a sun that could melt metal still leaves most of space colder than your freezer, stick around, because today, we're unraveling the cosmic paradox of how space can be freezing when the sun is blazing. Right here on Explaining Everything. First, let's get something straight. The sun is ridiculously hot. Like, don't even think about it, hot. Its surface temperature is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. And the core? Oh, just a casual 15 million degrees Celsius. That's like the entire concept of summer, cranked up to the max and then set on fire. So it makes perfect sense that you'd assume space should also be warm. The sun's pumping out energy 24-7, blasting light, heat, and radiation in all directions. It's basically the universe's most overachieving heater. But there's a catch. Here's the deal. When you feel heat on Earth, you're not actually feeling heat directly from the sun. You're feeling the air around you getting heated by sunlight. Sunlight travels through our atmosphere, hits molecules in the air, and those molecules start vibrating like they're at a rave. The more they move, the warmer it feels. But space? Space has no air, no molecules, no particles, nothing to dance. It's basically the worst party venue ever. So even though sunlight still travels through space, there's nothing there to absorb it and turn it into heat. That's like standing in front of an oven. But instead of warm air blowing at you, it's just light silently passing by like, good luck out there, buddy. Here's where it gets weird. Space isn't technically cold in the way you think. It's more like it just doesn't have heat to share. See, on Earth, heat moves in three ways. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction happens when you touch something warm, like a mug of coffee. Convection happens when warm air rises and cold air sinks. That's how your oven cooks things. Radiation is when energy moves as waves, like sunlight. Now in space, there's no air, no surfaces, and no molecules. So the only way to gain or lose heat is through radiation, meaning you either directly absorb light from the sun or you radiate your heat away into the abyss. So if you're floating in space and the sun's not shining directly on you, you'll lose heat fast and not grab a jacket fast. More like you'll turn into a cosmic popsicle fast. Here's the fun part. In the shade of space, Temperatures drop to around minus 270 degrees Celsius, just a hair above absolute zero, the coldest possible temperature. That's colder than your freezer, Antarctica, and your ex's heart combined. But if you're standing directly in sunlight out there, you could hit 120 degrees Celsius or more, hot enough to bake cookies. So in space, you're either being roasted or frozen. There's no room temperature, only microwave mode, 
or deep freeze. That's why astronaut suits are basically walking refrigerators with insulation and radiators. They need to balance out the sun's radiation while not freezing their space buns off in the shade. Let's imagine for a second, you're floating in space without a suit. Don't do this, by the way. The sun is shining right on you. You'd actually feel some warmth at first, but because there's no air, your body heat can't spread. Instead, your skin would heat unevenly, your sweat wouldn't evaporate, and your body would start losing heat through radiation. You wouldn't freeze instantly, like in movies, but you'd definitely start cooling off fast, like a sad piece of leftover pizza in a vacuum. It's not that space is cold, it's that it doesn't care. There's nothing to trap heat, nothing to transfer warmth, and no cozy blanket of air to keep you comfortable. So, to answer the question, space is cold because there's nothing there to hold the heat. The sun is hot, but its heat only matters if there's something to absorb it. Space is like a ghost town for heat energy. The light passes through, but nobody's home. It's one of the weirdest contradictions of the universe. The biggest fireball in existence, surrounded by the coldest environment possible. The cosmic equivalent of sitting next to a campfire. But the air refuses to get warm. So the next time you look up at the night sky, remember, the sun may be hot, but space doesn't play by Earth's rules. It's like that one friend who says, I don't do hugs. If you enjoyed this little dive into the frosty mysteries of space, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more brain-bending answers to everyday questions. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.